Hello once again, all of you fellow beer bastards. We're going ahead with beer review. Do, 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 do. Calculate, use calculus, uh, trigonometry, all that fun stuff. And we're in beer review 14. So we're getting there. Today, I have another barrel aged beer. This time I have the Peruvian Morning from Central Waters. Now, I have had a couple of different things from Central Waters, and in the past, I haven't been very impressed, per se, with what they've done, but that was also years ago. I hadn't, you know, developed the palate that I did then, so it's probably one of those things I should, I figured, you know what, I should go back and try them again. And I noticed recently they're doing uh, barrel age series. So they got Scotch Ale, aged in Scotch barrels. They got this aged in bourbon barrels. They have another one aged in bourbon barrels. They're doing all kinds of stuff. And for a four pack, these are pretty pricey. They're like the um, 14 to 13 or 14 to $16 range, somewhere around in there for a four pack of bottles like this size. But the thing is, is usually when you're buying beer if you're buying a four pack for a price for that price point you're expecting something of very high quality very intent uh just a high quality beer intense flavors and very complex so i'm gonna give this a try see how we're at i'm hoping oh my god if i can figure out how to work this thing i've done it before Okay, so because this is a bourbon barrel aged beer, we don't have much head because some of the carbonation tends to disappear a little bit. And, but it's retaining itself very, very well. And it's got a light, very light caramely color to it, which I would like to see out of a dark barrel aged beer. And it's very rocky, so it's rocky, smaller bubbles, and it's starting to fizzle out. So, very, very oaky, very oaky. A little bit of caramel, some vanilla. It's very sweet, a little, a little bit of coconut, I think. A little bit, just, just barely. I'm picking up coffee, but this is, I'm trying not to read the, yeah, brand, okay, Proving Morning Brand Stout, yeah, so coffee is not unreasonable. I'm trying to make sure to not look at the ingredients, I just know that this is aged in a bourbon barrel, and I'm like, okay, we're stopping there. It's very strong. It's got very strong flavors. It is the oakiness comes through a little bit, but it's not like super powerful like some other barrel aged beers. Just a little bit of oakiness. But I'm really getting that bitter, like chocolate almost stout flavor, some vanilla, yep there's the vanilla, just ever so slight hint of coffee, ever so slight. It does finish off strong, it's got a very creamy uh, mouthfeel not too heavy, but still definitely present. Oh. You do not want to do sip after sip of this stuff like that. This is very dark, very heavy beer, but I like it. So we have 
malt beverage aged in used oak bourbon barrels with coffee added. Hmm. Nice. Got that coffee. Excellent. I do feel like I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon, but, and I know they don't add cinnamon in there, but I feel like that could be coming from the oak barrel, depending on, you know, what, um, where they got the barrel from and which, yeah, which distillery, what was aged in it and so forth and how long they aged this in really depends on what kind of flavors they're going to pull out. That's really the interesting thing about barrel aging beers. You don't necessarily know what you're getting because you as the consumer, you don't know most of the time what barrels the breweries are using unless you um unless you talk to like the brewmaster or whoever ordered the barrels and a lot of times there's no set barrels they can get they they may make this batch again and it may taste vastly different because they are not able to source barrels from the same distillery they might use, you know, Buffalo Trace barrels here, and then um, they may have to get them from a different distillery, you know, the next time they make a batch. So you never, you never know what you're going to get out of this. Yeah, this is a nice, uh, this is a nice, like, hefty sipping beer. This is one to take on, you know, pour a glass of this, drink it on a cold night, sit back in your chair, relax, and just enjoy this. This isn't one, you know, to drink with a meal or anything. This would be almost more of a dessert beer or, you know, after dinner beer, something like that. You, would, you wouldn't really eat this with much. This has got enough flavor and a not and enough complexity and heavy within itself that it can stand on its own and give you everything you need. So I will go ahead and say this beer deserves a 9 out of 10 because it's aged in oak barrels and you can pick all the flavors out of that. It's got a nice, and now that after reported, it's got a nice ring ahead, good stout body, I could pick out all the, you know, could pick out all the flavors from it. And I mean, granted, it took me a little bit, but with a beer as complex like this, you have to, you know, take those sips and spend that time and really focus which one you're trying to pick out. Yeah, go more to the middle, you get that coffee. Mm. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So if you got got the urge to try some bourbon barrel beers and don't want some want a bourbon barrel beer that's you know overly hefty, but you have the you have the money and you have the urge to try this, I believe this was like about uh, as I said about 14, 15 bucks. So it's worth, in my opinion, worth the four pack of this. And I wouldn't drink these all in one night. No, sir. Pour one of these one night. Drink it slow over time, and then just wait a couple days or a week or whatever and have one. This is a, you know, this is a treat yourself kind of beer. That's what this is. This is sit down, relax, treat yourself. Stressful day at work, come home, kick off the shoes, unwind, get your comfy pants on, sit in the chair, boom. So with that... I say, if you find this, definitely get some. It's worth the price tag. This is one I say is worth it. Stay thirsty, bastards.